So if you'd ask me about my creative process, I'd have to say I probably have many, but the one that stands out and the one that I, I like to um, use quite often is, is the walking and the music combined together. Going for those long coastal walks from here to Bondi, to Watson's Bay and beyond, to Nelson Park and back, two to six hours, listening to music, um, yeah, that's where I'm at my best in terms of coming up with creative ideas and methods that I can actually achieve within, you know, the confines of what I'm capable of doing. You know, you got to remember, I, I didn't have an art background. I didn't study art at school. I didn't go to university or TAFE afterwards. I just had a desire and passion as a young bloke to draw. I always wanted to get involved in a charity of some type and with this newfound passion for painting I thought if I could fine tune this new style enough so that people might really want to have a portrait painted of themselves then I might be able to generate a decent amount of money to you know donate to something like children with Crohn's. And so this idea to reduce colours to assist me with my painting led me down a path whereby I basically just removed colour completely from my portraits and I started to focus on just black and white. Crohn's disease touched our family in a very deep and personal way. And I remember at the time going through a, you know, a, a roller coaster of emotions, dealing with someone in the family um, you know, with Crohn's disease. It wasn't a disease that was familiar to many people. So just you know, advising someone that your child was diagnosed with Crohn's disease was you know, a, a mission in itself. So yeah, through the charity, I was also hoping to bring about a better awareness and understanding of the disease as well as you know some of the other accompanying diseases um, that people might suffer with IBD such as you know colitis. Yeah the, the charity ran for 12 months and in that time whilst it wasn't easy I did manage to you know acquire 20 paintings for the charity. Uh, each painting probably took anywhere from five to six days uh, of my time and you know one of the most fulfilling parts of the the process was when I, I got to hand that painting over to someone and just see how grateful and, and emotionally content they were in receiving something that meant so much to them. It was it was lovely to see, yeah. Yeah, we, we remember the months leading up to Christmas of 2005 all too well, unfortunately, uh, whereby Jess was unable to consume any food for some three to four months and during that time she was required to drink a liquid formula known as Nutrison. To um, discover that your daughter had developed Crohn's disease at the tender age of four was quite the shock and to then be notified that she was the youngest child in Australia to be diagnosed with Crohn's was also quite shocking to find out. I remember many things about that period of time, but the one thing that stands out is the superhero story that we created to help Jessica get through this period of time. And for her, her superpower was given to her through this liquid formula known as Nutrison, and she became Jessie Neutron. Did you get nappy? Quick <gasps> one. There's a note on me. What's this? Let's see. Dear Jessica, wink wink neutron. This is one a one special one. something whipped up by Mrs. Claus. Same as one. When she heard about you and your adventures, she knew you would need a superhero outfit and made one especially for you. Is that cool? Now you can save the world in time. Wait, Jaden. Wait, Jaden. Wait, wait. Thanks for being so super and drinking all your power juice. 
Remember to always keep drinking so that you will always be strong like a real superhero. Love always, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Oh, I do you have a look? Oh, look, you know what it says? It says Jesse Neutron. Is there anything on the back, mommy? <laughs> To this day, we still have all those lids from all those bottles that Jess consumed back way when she was only four years old. The intention was then to create an art piece to celebrate her going into remission and pretty much remaining there for all this time. It's an artwork in progress. So after completing the charity work for children with Crohn's disease, I decided to look at different types of art and maybe to experiment with different kinds of mediums. One of which was a photo made up of thousands of family photos. Yeah, I, I did some experimentation with nails and, and learnt quickly just how painful that type of artwork can be. And so after hitting myself hundreds of times in the thumb, I decided um, that I should look at something different, which, which led me to sand, yeah. Sand led me to the beach. Um, yeah, I, I find sand fascinating that we make glass out of it. Um, it's just amazing, but um, using it in place of paint was something quite remarkable, something I thought was unique and hadn't been done at the time, but, but discovered otherwise later down the road. And so in my search to discover a new type of artistic style, I began painting on foam boards. I'd then cut them out and put them on an MDF backboard. My first piece was Purple Rain, for obvious reasons. And so this new art style I was working on, whilst it started with prints and the idea that I would just do one, it continued and it brewed and it grew and, and, and I had the desire to then, you know, concentrate on another two, maybe three singers who I grew up listening to and had fond memories of who unfortunately had since passed away. Yeah, yeah, Freddie Mercury, one of uh, our family favourites to listen to in the car, Queen. Wow, you know, um, no longer with us. I just love... I had no idea that being dressed as a woman singing I Want to Break Free had anything to do with anything but cleaning the house. Guns N' Roses, one of my wife's favourite bands growing up, um, she took me to the concert this year and we enjoyed it so much we went back for a second night. It was really, really fantastic. And so my desire to paint and create, along with my daughter's uh, development of Crohn's at a very early age, led me on a journey really to where I am now. My latest project, I was commissioned to create something special for a retail store in the city. The artwork really is an outlet for me and to have had the opportunity to be creating and painting for years now and, and to be able to continue doing that is something I'm really, really grateful for. You've grown over three centimetres more than one inch since you started with your special drink. Show me. And you've put on how many kilos, huh? Yeah. Whoa! Almost two kilos, I think, the last time. That's fantastic.